Hello, I'm Aaron Marino from Alpha M Image Consulting. Now, today's video, we are going to veer slightly away from style, but we're still going to be talking about a topic that is an integral part to your image. The inspiration for today's video came from an email I received from one of my members from I Am Alpha M. In the email, Ryan talks about being a busy guy. He has a problem starting, but most importantly, sticking with the workout program. And he asked if Alpha had any tips for how to stay motivated, how to not not only start, but stick with an exercise program. So this got me thinking, like motivation. Motivation is kind of key to your success in life. People that aren't motivated basically don't amount to anything. And being able to stay self-motivated is even more important. It's, you know, motivation is one thing when your mom's like, you better get, get in your room and stuck. That's a different situation. I'm talking about something that drives us, that keeps us going forward and pressing ahead when sometimes it seems that I just don't want to. I would rather sit on the couch, but you get up, you get your ass, you kick your own ass into shape and you get moving. So today we're talking about motivation, what it is, how to get there, and some tips and tricks for you to improve the chances of your success. The term motivation refers to a process that elicits, controls, and sustains certain behaviors. Now there's one theory out there that says that we are motivated by two things. One is to avoid pain and the other is to maximize pleasure. To put this in simpler terms, because me not so smart today, if you are hungry, that means that you seek out food and you eat. If you're tired, you sleep. If you are aroused, you... One-legged Asian super sluts. So you are either doing something to make yourself comfortable or happy. Now this is a great theory and all, and I think that there are some valid points to it, but I think it's an oversimplification. Not just that, I think it's a little bit primal. I think when dealing with motivation, you first need to understand and analyze why you want a specific outcome. Is your motivation intrinsic or extrinsic? Okay, now why are you looking confused? Intrinsextic of what the fruitcake are you talking about? I just want to get laid. All right, good. We're using our words. Wanting to get laid is an extrinsic, but it's also an intrinsic motivator. Let me explain. Intrinsic motivation is something that you do because you enjoy it. You might enjoy the task itself. It is pleasurable to you. Nobody has to convince you to do it. It's something you seek out yourself. So like sex, it's something that interests you. You enjoy it, possibly by yourself or with others. Now for some of you, working out is an intrinsic motivation. You enjoy doing it. You love going in and working out and the way you feel afterwards. Nobody has to convince you to go in and work out. There's no greater reason that you're actually working out other than you like it. This is intrinsic motivation. Now, an extrinsic motivation is something you do not because you enjoy it or want to do it, but because you want a certain outcome. Like cuddling. You are motivated to cuddle, to get sex. And the same thing goes for working out. You may not necessarily like working out, but you want to look good. Nobody said doing cardio is fun, and so you hate doing cardio, but you do it because you want abs. But an interesting phenomenon that happens when you're working out, you start seeing results. Once you start seeing results, maybe your abs poke out a little bit and in the perfect lighting you can see them, you're like, dude, I got a two back. Or some hot piece comes by and is like, damn baby, nice body. All of a sudden you have just flipped the script on your own ass. You have taken an extrinsic motivation and have realized it. And now that external factors that were making you do it have turned internal. You now can't wait to get into the gym. You can't wait to hit the treadmill. You are looking forward to that healthy diet that you have been planning for weeks. You have just created a healthy habit. No need for me to tell you and to motivate. You have motivated yourself. It is done, baby. Whew, calm down. Sorry, I get excited when I think about people starting to exercise and just succeed and be successful at something that starts off so hard. So now let's talk about some ways that we are going to get you motivated to get in there the first time. Okay, first, the hardest part about starting any fitness plan or diet plan is that whole starting part. How many times have you thought to yourself, I am such a fatty. I really should do something about it. You know you should start working out, but not today, maybe tomorrow. Well, let me ask you something. How long have you been thinking about doing something? Has it been a week? 
Has it been a month? Has it been a year? Has it been five years? Well, let me paint the picture for you. If you had started working out the first time you thought about it five years ago, what would you look like today? That's right, you would be a sexy mother But you didn't start. You thought about it. Or maybe you have started a few times, but then you quit for one reason or another. Maybe you just got busy and so you're like, I'll do it next week. Well, next week never came. Or maybe your workout partner quit on you, so you quit. Or maybe you got hurt. Well, guys, I am here to offer you my advice from somebody who has seen it, done it, been there, been through the process a hundred times. That's not true. I actually have started at a young age and have stuck with it. Thus, the pecs. No, psych. <laughs> Here are three tips that you as a beginner can implement in order for you to improve the chances of your success. Tip number one, start slow. A big mistake that I see a lot of guys making is that they go 100% overboard when they start something. So they go in and they're like, I am working out seven days a week. I'm not taking any days off. I'm going to be in there for three hours. Slow down, dude. Rome wasn't built in the day and neither were your chiseled abs. It takes time and patience and you need to set yourself up to be successful. And so start slow. Three days a week in the beginning. Work up to doing more than that, but start nice and easy. Don't overdo it. Nobody is paying attention to what you are or aren't doing. Which brings me to point number two. Don't worry about what other people are doing. I don't care if your buddy can lift more than you. I don't care if the chick across the gym is lifting twice as much as you. Don't focus or worry about anyone other than you. Don't try and lift too heavy. Be smart. Use a weight that is manageable. So many guys I see get this huge, like, they're like, dude, I need to, everybody come, how much do you bench? It does, who knows? Work out with a weight that is manageable, that you can lift with good form and not throw it all over the place and do things that are going to potentially injure yourself. The third and final tip is ask for help. Let's use an analogy. Say you buy a piano. You want to learn to play the piano. Do you just start banging away at the keys trying to teach yourself chopsticks? No. You get help. Maybe lessons. Maybe you get books in order to educate yourself so that you learn the right way in the beginning. A lot of guys will go in there and not get the good advice and they end up just, they're wasting their time. Don't waste your time. Make sure that you get the knowledge and information that you need in order to exercise and do that whole fitness thing and diet thing properly. Uh, you think I'm passionate about fitness? I am, but it's not just because of what it does to your body and how it makes your body look and how your muscles feel. It's not that. It's what it does to your mind. I totally attribute my confidence and my self-esteem to exercise and fitness. Now guys, you gotta trust me on this one. If you start and maintain a fitness or workout and healthy diet program, you are going to see a drastic spike in your self-esteem and your confidence in a matter of weeks. I mean seriously, you go and hit the gym once, you're gonna feel great. You hit it again, 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 you start to see changes in your body, you string a bunch of successful weeks together, and you are going to feel like like a million bucks. I promise. The way I see it, there really isn't a downside. It's relatively inexpensive and if you do it at home, it's absolutely free. If you want to join a gym, don't say, I don't have any money. Guys, ask for it for a birthday, for a present. Save up. It's worth it. And what's it going to cost you? $25, $35 a month? Not that big of a deal. It's going to make you live longer, it's going to reduce your stress level, it's going to make you look better, your clothes are going to fit better. There is a direct correlation between working out and getting more sex. I don't know who did the study, but there has been a study done and there is a direct correlation. So in conclusion, motivation and working out. You might have thought about it, you might have started, but you've never stuck with anything long enough to see real change. And it's that change that keeps you coming back for more. guys. It is time to do it for real. Cut the crap. I know you're busy and stuff like that. Everybody's busy. But where there's a will, there's a way. You will find the time. And guys, trust me, it is worth it. It is going to change your life. And remember, guys, if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. It's not how strong you are. It's how strong you look. You didn't know that Alpha was ripped. Well, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Am I the whitest guy ever? Who sang that song anyway? Was it Biggie or Tupac? I can't keep my gangster rapper straight. But on a serious note, if you were thinking about starting 
an exercise plan or a diet plan and don't know really where to begin or what to believe and what not to believe, there is so much information out there. It's like information overload. You've got the internet, you've got magazines, you've got books, you've got your buddies, and there's so much information you don't know what is accurate and what is sort of like bro science. Well guys, I have a vast experience and knowledge in both nutrition as well as working out. Um, and pretty much I'm going to tell it to you straight as I can and in the most simplistic way possible. No, listen, I know what works, I know what doesn't work. And if you're looking for help, I'm starting a series next week at I Am Alpha M on beginner workouts. I'm going to have beginner workout plans. I'm going to have diet advice. And so there's a link below. If you want to come, check it out and join right down there. If not, no big deal. I don't care how you get it done or how you start. You just need to start. But next week, we're talking about style. And the whole reason I'm so passionate about this, I just want you to live your best life. And I know that is going to affect you. If you start a workout plan, it is going to do wonders to you. And you are going to, you don't even need to thank me. Don't thank me for it. I just want you to be successful. And I want you to feel great about yourself. Because that makes me happy. Guys, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.